24 hours in Liverpool. I'm curling the front. That's just typical Liverpoolian girls, isn't it? Uh, you always see them walking around in rollers. So we're just off now. I've got a jumpsuit on um, from Tesco's, believe it or not, that I bought a couple of years ago, and some boots from Zara. And Frankie Jack is dressed all in, uh, I think he's River Island and a little bit of Primark um, with his camouflage. You looking forward to it, Frankie Jack? Mm. Yay! So here we are, we've arrived at the venue now. This is Bongo's Bingo, and this is where the Fizz are gonna be performing in just the, uh, well, actually they're gonna be doing a sound check. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to hear the sound check. Sound engineer's just on his way down at the moment. Uh, the Fizz are gonna be performing there, and Katrina, and it's ages since I've seen Katrina. Um, at last time I saw Katrina, I was pregnant with Frankie Jack, actually. I had a drink with her, not, not a non-alcoholic, obviously, in, um, in London, Trafalgar Square, when I was hosting. My God, this brings back some memories um, of years ago when we used to do sound checks and stuff. Uh, and obviously when I used to do sound checks when I was solo as well, but I haven't sung for quite a long time. In fact, I haven't properly sung on stage since I was pregnant with Frankie Jack in, um, in Trafalgar Square. But look at that. Yeah, it's going to be such a great night. Oh my gosh. I don't think Katrina, Katrina is going to be here because um, she's got stuck on a train. I hope, I hope everything gets sorted for her. Another lovely woman. Absolutely cracking. So just in case this doesn't make any sense at all, if you've just tuned into my YouTube channel, then welcome, I'm Sally Jack's TV mom. I used to sing with Box Fizz back in the day before I started work in television. So um, I used to sing with Mike Nolan and David Van Day, and I was one of the new girls, and I was with them for around about four to five years from 1997. So I'm just about to meet Mike for the first time uh, in ages, in a moment, and you're going to be able to see that. But then, obviously, I went as a solo artist when I left Box Fizz, and I did a lot of things with Clubland and Ministry Sound, etc, etc, and toured on my own what happened re the reason why I haven't sung for so long is because I had um, severe iron deficiency and because I was stuffed full of medication and also a steroid which I had to um inhale every day it wrecked uh, the back of my throat and I wasn't able to reach my high notes with my chest resonance if anybody understands singing I won't bore you any of that um, and so I, that's why I never sung so and obviously I lost my confidence because I had mental health issues and all of that is on different vlogs so I just wanted to fill you in because otherwise this vlog unless you really know me is not going to make sense so here I am meeting up with Mike and I haven't seen him for so long and Mike and I are Mike Nolan and I um, were like brother and sister. Is it really good? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yay! So, shake hands. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> right this is oh this is my main man i love you so much we go back a long long way don't we we <laughs> yeah, go back we to do. 1997 so, oh, got, wasn't it on, yeah. leave it on my love on my face <laughs> uh 1997 we met she was in bucks fizz with me and we had the best time we got didn't on we? so well didn't we, really we? Did. We, did. we do you remember when you when you took me to ireland and we went round all <gasps> where you were from yes. where you lived i showed you that didn't i yeah yeah Great, wasn't and we it? went before everybody else and we had a little little tour and of when our I own saw the old girlfriend of mine over there yeah that yeah. was it yeah oh, yeah and your school and yeah, excuse me we're talking business here <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I love this guy. We did have so much fun. We did a lot of partying together as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had a and really, some great really, gigs. Yeah, there were good gigs. Yeah, really good. It's just that horrible purse we had to work with. <laughs> I know. You know, his name, he used to be in we Dollar. We can't what, even mention. I can mention him, because I can say what I like about him, no. but he's a rotten person. <laughs> We all, there's always someone in this world that we don't particularly like. like yeah, and, and he's he one of them. Definitely one of he's them. He's one of them. He's on top of the list. He is. So what are you doing? What are you doing here tonight? You're at Bingo Bongo Bongo Bingo. I don't know. We're calling, we're calling out the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just about to do their sound check. So I'll record a little bit of that for you. Yeah, we're going to do well. all that. And um, when well, you look at the camera, where, is the camera there? No, it's there. You plonker. <laughs> I, I'm not plonker. I'm an idiot, not a plonker. There's a difference. <laughs> between, there's a difference between idiot and plonker. So you've I'm also plonker. just met Frankie Jack as well. Yeah. My little boy. A little boy. Yeah. I don't know who he looks like. I don't know if he looks like Sally or Gar Gary or even the milkman. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, we've just started to get a milk and no, but it weren't eight years ago. Yeah, well, it weren't eight years that's ago. That's your story, you're going yeah. to stick to it. <laughs> it is, it is. So you're going to the uh, last night, aren't you, in the big arena? Yeah, the Eurovision believe. tomorrow so night. Why did you not get me a ticket? Listen, we haven't got tickets ourselves. We're going well, to we're bulging in. our way in. Oh, okay. No, we've only got a few tickets and I didn't need any. Because I've got one ticket. Because you're Mike Nolan. And the spare one was given to someone in, else. Because you're Mikey. I'm going to say, I won. <laughs> and he said, who's in, he? In 1981. <laughs> God, 42 years ago. Is that a long time? It is, isn't it? 42 years. Because so, I remember performing and you going, 17 years ago, 18 years ago, we won. 19 years ago. And then when I was putting my makeup on today, I'm thinking, God, blimey, it's like. It's a long time since we worked together. Yeah, yeah it is, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a long time since I've seen terrible, you. But, but does it feel like, it doesn't even feel like we've, I've been apart. No, you not changed. No, you haven't either. Still, I love you. You've still got the big mouth you have there. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Really good to see you. And you too. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Hi yeah. Stone School with a fizz. Yeah. It used to be Bucks Fizz. Yeah. Uh, make sure you watch Eurovision Song Contest tomorrow night. It's going to be really, really good. Like Frankie yeah. Jackie's. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one, two. Oh, it was so fabulous to see the whole sound check and we managed to watch all of it which was brilliant for Frankie Jack and oh my gosh did I miss it I really wanted to get up on that stage but just a fun fact for you it was Cheryl Baker that told me about the audition for television and that's why I've been in TV now 13 years Just saying hello, these guys have just done their sound check. The fabulous Cheryl and the amazing Mike Nolan. You look down at the right hand corner just in case you ask him, Mike. I know where to look. I know exactly where to look. I'm looking right at the camera. So you are being pulled from pillar to post at the moment, aren't you? Oh, yes. You've got so many interviews that you're doing and you're going to watch the last and well, you're going to watch We're the watching final. Eurovision. I am so jealous. Are you looking forward to that? Oh so much. Oh my god. So Do you know much. I've never been to a Eurovision Song Contest, but apart from the one we took part in, I've never been to a Eurovision Song Contest. Well, if you don't want to go. I'll dress up as you, I'm quite happy to go, and I'll go and bop with Cheryl. You look stupid in the dress I'm going to wear. <laughs> I wouldn't say it. <laughs> oh, it's been so lovely to see you, and good luck with tonight. I hope it goes really well. Thank you, Not for so love. Dumb question, who have you come as tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we she's just meet her. she's just up there. They're just up there, oh, they're up there now. They're up there now. Oh, God, can I go to her house <laughs> and they'll be back later on. Come on, you got to rip off the oh, skirt, God. boys. Oh, no, we done this. Come on. Ready? 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 Two, three. Woo! Hey. So fab. Enjoy your night. Thank See you. you later. That's our room. It's a bit messy because we've been in already. We just had to come back and change Frankie Jack's shoes. Um, because his feet were hurting, so we're about to go out now. Yeah, I got Cheers. Oh, look at this, Diana. What's your name? Dave. Dave. So we're just here in Liverpool, and these guys are actually going into the main arena tomorrow. What yeah. were you just saying about your daughter? Oh, my daughter. She's on. She's actually on the UK Eurovision website. Yeah. Um, she's uh, crocheted a cardigan out of every flag. Wow, of, Euro, of Europe. So I'm Europe, hoping right. I'm going to catch you. You should see it. She's wearing it tonight, but right. she's going to wear it tomorrow. I'll as well. definitely. Are you going to the village? Well, we, we're going up that way. Yeah. We're, we're going up, but we're going to the parks. We can't get into the village because our rucksack's too big. Oh, oh right. isn't it pathetic? Yeah, anyway, yeah. right. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Enjoy yeah, tomorrow night. Thank you. We're just going up the steps now that we've got all the green on, so you can sit down. You can get an ice cream after you've eaten properly. So we're going to go up and have a look at another park because we haven't been able to get in um, the main the main village because this is just ridiculous. So Gary's rucksack is bigger than an A4 piece of paper. I'll just show you it. So it's got our coats in for tonight so we're not too cold but we don't want to carry them because obviously I'm definitely an eight-year-old isn't going to carry that. Anyway, they won't let us in with it. One policeman said he's fine. The security guard said not. So I texted my friend who's in there and he went, he sent him a picture and he said, oh, there's loads of people in here with that. Anyway, so there was a two-hour queue anyway, so we've come to a different part. So we're going to get something to eat now. This is my porn star martini, so I've got the next best thing. This is like a porn star martini in a long drink. I think it's called a fra passion, fraction, <laughs> passion fruit cocktail and it's absolutely delicious. 
Yum. So we're lucky, Frankie Jack has just gone to sleep, but it's now one o'clock in the morning and at 11 o'clock, well, half past 10, they cranked up the base. And honestly, it just feels like I've got a tent in the middle of Glastonbury and it's absolutely banging out there. So we're early hours in the morning now. And it's still going. And nothing is written on anything when you book in this hotel about how bad this is. It's quite, uh, quite remarkable. So this is my outfit for today. I put, I'm, I'm really in love with Tesco's at the moment. This was a shirt that I got from Tesco's on a deal. I got these trousers um, on, in Tesco's as well. I think there was 20% or 25% off these. These are my new balance trainers. I got another pair in sea salt and my glasses are very in keeping with Liverpool and um, the uh, Beatles, aren't they? With the roundness. These are Moschino that I got from TK Maxx on a brilliant deal. I've also got a handbag with me today. I've just taken the big gold chain off, but I did get the big gold chain to go with the Apache handbag. So these were selling at Ideal World. We need to get these back on. Uh, Frankie Jack has got um, IKKS, X, whichever way you pronounce it, on his top half. He's got Ralph Lauren as his T-shirt, Primark as his jeans, and Converse as his trousers. So that's what we're out in today. Um, we're just taking our things back to the car park. We're absolutely shattered because we got no sleep last night, did we, Frankie Jack? No. He turned around, can't see. We got no sleep last night. You can see he's even got black underneath his eyes now, and that's because it felt like we were sleeping sleeping in a tent in the middle of the crowd at Glastonbury. I have never heard, and it's not just because of the Eurovision. This is going to be noisy. So this is called the Hotel One Hundred and Five. If you come in with families, never stay. If you want a night out um, with the girls or the guys, and you need somewhere quick to put your head down for a couple of hours, then perfect. If you can put up with that noise, but anybody else, I would never ever recommend staying here. It's lovely and clean, no problem with it but my god it was a nightmare so he was up crying um in the middle of the night frankie G gary was pacing up and down we just could not sleep so we've had no sleep at all so i don't know how we're going to be today going on in Euro eurovision but we'll hopefully get out and i've got a couple of mates that i'm meeting up with today as well the other thing with this hotel is that there's no lift and it didn't state that when we booked so if i'd have been disabled what would i have done resting bitch face thought that was quite funny Gary's already taken our massive suitcase down. I've offered to help Frankie Jack, but he doesn't want any help. He's doing it himself, but they don't tell you that when you book him. We are well done on the on the car park, aren't we, Frankie Jack? So we're just walking our bags back now to the car park, and we're going to stay and get home a little bit later, but we're having a day out in Liverpool. Frankie Jack looking cool in his pound sunglasses from Primark. We're just down the main, main stretch of the street. Looking cool. Looking cool, dude. You couldn't have asked for better weather. It was such a good day. There's a huge amount, obviously, for the Ukraine here in Liverpool. Lots of people carrying the Ukraine flag. And if you have a look at anything anywhere, it's always done kind of in yellow and blue. One of the things I want to point out to you, because we did have a look at this last night, so we've Googled it to research, and that is this bird here. There's about, I think they said there's 12 of them around Liverpool. And this is the national bird for the Ukraine. It's called the um, Solovika, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is the national bird. So what they've done is they've placed them around Liverpool. And there's actually kind of a little pad that the kids can press or adults can press and it plays music and it's absolutely beautiful and everybody's having their photographs taken with them so I can imagine on social media they're absolutely enormous and obviously they're an enormous uh, bird and it's so good for like if you have a look at it everything is done in yellow and blue which is oh it just makes you well up doesn't it what they've gone through because of an absolute arsehole the Putin um, and they should be holding this. So, of course, because Sam Ryder came second, well, that's why we're holding it in Liverpool. That man has done so much for, for the UK, hasn't he? All his positivity, his great vibes that come with him. And I do believe he's here this year because no doubt they'll have him doing something on stage, uh, hopefully singing. Now, we're not at the live final, but we're just crossing the road now to go across to the Albert Docks because we're going to go for something to eat here this morning um, and see the madness um, down here. Again, everything 
everything done in yellow and blue. So we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna head over and have a look at the arena. We won't be able to go in, but we'll be able to see the madness that's going around and obviously see some of the very colorful costumes. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, how talented is that? Wow. 12 birds that are around the, the city um, represent the 12 regions of the Ukraine and it's called the Solovika or Veka. I can't pronounce, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it. It sounds a little bit ignorant from me, doesn't it? So apologies. You can see everywhere you go, is that supposed to be a submarine? Obviously a yellow submarine. And they've done it in yellow and blue for, um, they must drive that around. No, no, it's not, it's at a stand still. Lisa and David, but look at these costumes. I'm gonna to have to turn it around, Lisa, and show this. It's absolutely incredible. So where are you going tonight? We're going Fusion. to Fusion. Fusion, they're yeah. off to Fusion. So what's there? Is that showing a big screen or? Yes, yeah, so it's the big screen. There'll be some Eurovision celebs there as well. Um, and it's just gonna be a big Eurovision party. Wow, wow. And, and this, have... this lights up, so over night time, this will be even more amazing. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin around, Lisa, because we need to see. Outfit, Lisa. So I've got um, a handmade headdress and it does light up, like I said, with my UK flag. And then the cardigan and tights are representing Ukraine. We won last year. And then look at these. Look at this. And my fabulous boots. Look at these, and it's got England Carnaby Street on. Are they a regular choice? They are a regular choice. <laughs> this is the handbag. Fabulous. And the jewellery is all Butler and Wilson. Oh, lovely. I love Butler and Wilson. <laughs> and this is a fusion of music, isn't it, David? Yeah, this is just for fun. This is just <laughs> getting out there and having a laugh and just being part of what's going on. Wow. Thank you so much for talking to me. You look absolutely amazing. So these are the Eurovision kind of love hearts that they've put. They, I've only found two of them. So there's one down by the Albert Dock and there's one bit further up that we had photos done on uh, last night. But there's queues to get your photograph done with it. We've come into Madre, Madre, and I'm going to have some tacos. And we've just come here, it's got a great feel. This is by the Albert Dock here. So we're going to just have a bite to eat here. So I've ordered a margarita and some fish and sort of chicken, fried chicken tacos. I'm really enjoying myself. What have we been doing then? Uh, we've walked from our hot, hot hotel to the car park to put all the suitcases back in the car. Then we've walked all the way from the car park back to here to have some really nice views. And all some really nice views. Food. Food. We are having some really <laughs> nice food. And you've seen people dressed up, haven't you? Yeah food comes I took straight in without showing you what I've got so this is the um, pollo frito which is a fried chicken and that, that has got ali oli on there and um, some other sauces and then this one's got um, jalapeno and salsa uh, mexicano and then we've also got some um, fried potatoes and Frank Mac just got fish taco yeah. churros I think I'm sat in the wrong way to actually be showing these. I bet Gary has none of these. But it's not for Gary. He's not a sweet tooth person, although he always eats chocolate. So I've ordered a strawberry um, frozen margarita this time. I think this is my second drink. Who have you come as? Well, we're back to <laughs> And are you going tonight? Yes, yeah. Tonight are, are you? Are you... Oh, we're not. Oh, what happened then? The girls are going. The girls oh. are going. We managed to only get two tickets. And oh, oh, oh fabulous. Who do you think is going to win? Sweden. 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 I think Finland. What they about want Israel to win? You want Israel? <laughs> what about um, the Ukraine? No, Are they could do you not, not think this, not yeah. years? Is it not as good? Yeah. I think, I think they'll do well, but I, I don't think, think they'll, they'll win. No. But yeah. we'll see. Yeah, I think I think I think it's either Finland or Sweden. Or Sweden. So, yeah. so what are you two boys doing tonight? Well, Getting we're just going to see where we can go. Very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> finding a beer and pie. Yeah, well, try well, and find a beer and pie and just go go for it. And drinking lots of hot spits. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. You. So these are all your news and everything that's being done from here, from all over the world. Obviously, they're going to be setting up, and this is the big arena where it's going to be happening got a big statue outside the arena here and it's to do with peace on earth for the conservation of life in honor of John Lennon from 1940 to 1980 and when I rocked up it looks very similar to something that Disney are doing um, this year for their 30th um, celebrations as Frankie Jack and you can also see all the camera guys as well waiting for 
uh, doing all the filming for tonight, people coming in, getting the crowds coming in, etc. You've got some cameras over there as well. So it'll be full on this evening, won't it? When it's all taking place here in Liverpool. It's so boring, a Gary and Frankie Jack, they don't want to go on this, whereas I do. I want to go on it. Do you want to go on it? No. <laughs> He's chicken. Right, so I'm still in the queue to go up the, <laughs> what's it called? The Liverpool? Uh, I. Ah, it's the Liverpool I. I. Yeah. And uh, I've just bumped into, uh, what's your Doreen. name? Doreen. She watches I do. What? I do, I do. <laughs> um, you were on GMT, was it? Well, not GMTV, yeah. GMB. Oh, come on, how old am I now? Say so GMT. Good, good morning, Britain. Good morning, Britain, the choir. Sing me Merseyside, Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah, how yeah, good's that? Good morning, sir. And what's that all to do with the Eurovision? Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway, lovely to meet you and enjoy oh, the ride. Oh, yeah. This is the husband as well. <laughs> that's what I've just done. So we got up to this. If you have a look at this pod here. So you've got to pay here. And I walk past and I'm going, where are you paying? Where? I don't know where you're paying. And they go, and she's in there. Because I have my sunglasses on. And this is this is like a blacked out window. I couldn't see it. <laughs> like, I can't see. And they were a little old and I bent down. Oh, she was laughing her head off. So I paid. But I could have easily missed that. Because I've had two margaritas as well. There we are. We're going on the big one. Here we go. What a feeling. Here we go. We're going up in the. What is it called? The Liverpool Eye. So just some of the sites as we're going over, they've got River Mersey and the Liver Building, and I'm going to point some other things out that we saw along our way while we were up the eye. Back down there, if you can see it, where the Love Hearts are, is where we've just had our lunch. So this is the Albert, welcome to the Albert Dock here, where the Beatles story is. And that's the Albert Dock where this morning used to be filmed many years ago. See a little bit better the arena. Actually from the top, Gary and I have just been saying it doesn't actually look that big. I just wonder how many it's going to house tonight for the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't know whether you can see them, but Leonardo Hotel's here. Gary's just noticed that there's police up there camping and watching. Um, just making sure that obviously there's no naughty people about shall we say they've got cameras pointing down or are those guns i've got a feeling those are guns gary i think those are guns let me try and get a bit closer in so you can see i think that's a gun covered up either side just in case you've got absolute idiots it's good though it's good though that they've got them there and he's constantly with his binoculars about that all well worth doing wasn't it Say we've done the London Eye in Liverpool. London Eye in Liverpool. Say we've done the Liverpool Eye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gary. Hello. So, hi, I'm Rosanna. Yes, I'm Maria. Yeah. So why? So what was what was all that about? Because it was just so glorious and you sang so well. Yeah. Just tell me what you. So I'm third generation Ukrainian, which means um, my maternal and paternal grandparents were born in Western Ukraine near Ivano Frankivsk. Um, Maria and Serhi um, are from Mykolaiv, which is um, southern Ukraine um, near the Black Sea, um, and they, they arrived in the UK uh, last April. So what was the song that you were just singing? Then? Uh, so the first one is uh, Misiat na Nevi, Noon in the Sky, which. Every, every Ukrainian comes out of the womb singing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful um, traditional folk song about uh, a young lady. She's uh, drifting along in a boat and singing and she captures the heart of a young Cossack boy. Uh, the second one, uh, Chervona Ruta, Red Rue, um, it, it's about um, uh, love and um, uh, sort of, well, well the, the games that we play, I guess, in love. <laughs> and this headdress, is this all traditional? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's so touching, it made me well off. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so like good, and you're, you're, I mean, you obviously are trained as well. You're trained. I am, I am. You're yes. trained. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you do that for, do you sing for a living? For my sins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm an opera singer. So. <laughs> absolutely tremendous. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for doing yeah. that in front of me. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank Have fun. <laughs> I was trying to uh, do a quick interview because the singing was so fantastic.
fantastic. I didn't realise that she talked about uh, Maria and Serki and I didn't hear it properly. So I feel so ignorant that I didn't speak to them. So real apologies. It looked like I just brushed over it. But the fact that they've been in the UK since April of last year when all the horror started, I feel so terrible that I didn't speak to them. So sorry. My goodness, to hear all that going on then, it made me well up because obviously you could see that it was absolutely from the heart. Woo! Makes you well up when you hear stuff like that, doesn't it? But um, yeah, absolutely incredible. What did you think? Yeah, it's just incredible. So what a lovely woman and uh, we're now following each other on Instagram. <laughs> Another one of the birds up close and personal, everybody was taking pictures next to them. You've also got the beetles that was busy, so unfortunately we couldn't get in there. Now this was done by an artist and put on the docks um, around the Eurovision time. I believe it might have been taken down now, but it also lights up at night. And this is a globe of the earth, um, beautiful, and everybody was taking pictures. Oh, look at them all, looking, looking absolutely <laughs> cracking, I love you girls. And they got their dresses from Asda. We couldn't think of anything better. Enjoy. Lovely to meet you all. See you later. The love hearts. You probably saw these on every single television show. There were so many great colourful costumes. The police were out in force as well. Uh, you never felt that they were too much, but it was it was there for you. And obviously it was incredibly, incredibly busy. But we uh, headed home after one last climb on the Liverpool sign. Had to get this on camera. We've got the German fans visiting Liverpool. Eyelashes. <laughs> Look at those, we, they are amazing, you look fabulous. Mwah. See you later. See you later. So we're heading home now, Frankie Stop Jack, it. have you had a good time? Yeah. Yeah, and he's got a blue mouth. Somebody just handed him a lolly. So thank you for watching, that was our 24 hours in Liverpool. And no doubt everybody is uh, going into the arena now. Um, I bet they're packing them in quite early. Um, what a fab time we've had and what a great atmosphere it's been. Liverpool has really done a brilliant job and it's so fab to see so much of the Ukraine around as well. So everybody, you know, the love for the Ukraine is, is, is astronomical. That's all sorting our sat nav out. So that was interesting, we've just been pulled over by the police. <laughs> That's a great way of ending the day. Um, we've changed our number plates round of Gary and I um, because we've had a number plate of Gary's for about seven years that he's never used, private number plate. So I've now got a private number plate for Frankie Jack that's been on Gary's car. And anyway, it's been switched over and the paperwork hasn't been done my properly, my the insurance. My insurance number doesn't, my insurance. So the insurance doesn't match up. So. Frankie Jack's just been in tears and... Frankie Jack? You oh, didn't think I was going to get arrested, did you? <laughs> he thought he was, he's going, he's daddy going to prison! He's daddy going to prison! He's daddy going to prison! So I've had to calm him down. So anyway, you're alright now, Frankie Jack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway. This is what you've been doing, I think, you originally said. So. Thank you for watching as always don't forget to give us a thumbs up and write in the comment section below please and the best part is always to subscribe so you're following us we would love to have you part of our YouTube family lots of love from all of us see you later bye